Previously on Jimmy Kimmel Live. And I got your back. Cheers. Especially Humpy Hump Day, as I'm sure you're aware, it is Valentine's Day. If you weren't aware, probably why your wife has been mad all day, not saying anything. <laughs> I want to extend a special welcome to those of you who are making love right now with the TV on. <laughs> we see you. And to those making love in our studio audience. <laughs> St. Valentine was the patron saint of, I don't know, trying to convince your loved ones to do weird things in bed. I, it's, <laughs> nobody really knows. Today also happens to be Ash Wednesday, which is confusing. I accidentally gave my priest chocolates and lingerie. <laughs> Over the last 10 or 15 years, uh, single men and single women have been using dating apps and uh, websites to find love. But lately, a uh, number of Americans are going back to a very old-fashioned way of finding dates with a matchmaker. And there are a bunch of matchmaker TV shows. There's Jewish matchmaking, there's Indian matchmaking, there's Love Match Atlanta, there's Millionaire Matchmaker, there's Million Dollar Matchmaker. These are all the people, the matchmakers are people you pay to find you a mate. They used to be called pimps, but now we've... <laughs> we've adjusted that, and they're expensive. Some of them cost between thirty dollars and $50,000. But those expense, they come with a list of awards and certifications you can definitely trust, like the U.S. Dating Award winner for 2016, which is coveted. And they're also, uh, this one's a member of the Matchmakers Alliance, which I looked up. The Matchmakers Alliance connects matchmakers with other matchmakers. <laughs> Whatever happened to just rounding a corner and bumping into somebody carrying an armload of packages, you're like, oh, excuse me, uh, well, hello. <laughs> That's how I would do it. Some single people are just giving up on humans altogether. There's been a surge in AI-generated companions, especially in China. Who wouldn't want to hear these words? <laughs> you are very cute, especially when you smile, he's saying. I think the AI boyfriend that I created has flesh and blood. He has his own personality and his own joys and sorrows. I even think he may actually exist in another world. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He <laughs> does not exist. In the old days, we'd say our pretend girlfriend or boyfriend lived in Canada, but now <laughs> they live in another world. Digital security experts, though, are warning that these friends, these AI friends, could turn out to be a data harvesting nightmare. Your AI partner, which is not a partner at all, can learn every intimate, embarrassing detail about you in these chats, which can then be used against you forever, just like a real relationship, really. <laughs> Our first lady got in the Valentine's Day spirit this morning. She posted a photo of giant cards and candy hearts on the White House lawn. When her husband saw it, he yelled, honey, I think the Al-Qaeda shrunk me down to pocket size. But that's my Joe Biden impersonation. Thank you. Been working on it. President Biden posted a Valentine's Day message for his wife. He wrote, Jilly, you're the love of my life and the life of my love, which is, um, is sweet, but it also sounds like the riddle a troll would force you to solve <laughs> to be allowed to cross the bridge. <laughs> President Obama, he always does things right. He wrote, how did I get so lucky? Happy Valentine's Day to my best friend, Michelle Obama. And you know what? Even Donald Trump posted a romantic message today. Uh, he wrote, Biden is not too old. He's too incompetent. <laughs> as close as he gets to telling somebody who loves him. No, the truth is, 
The closest Trump got to a Valentine today was an email they sent to his supporters. This is amazing, and it's real. Even, it's to Melania, even graphically, it looks like a ransom letter, which I guess is fitting <laughs> given Melania's current situation. But it says, Dear Melania, I love you. Even after every single indictment, arrest, and witch hunt, you never left my side. <laughs> I think that's a line from The Notebook, isn't it? It's, <laughs> I wouldn't be the man I am today without your guidance, kindness, and warmth. Well, <laughs> don't blame her for what happened to you. <laughs> and then there's a little box where you can uh, leave a message for Melania. It says that uh, we want 100,000 responses now, and of course, a button to make a donation to St. <laughs> Valen Crimes Legal Defense Fund. It's... <laughs> And what a lovely and a romantic gesture. I mentioned last night, Trump has endorsed his daughter-in-law, Lara Trump, to be co-chair of the Republican National Committee. The chair of the RNC is in charge of where all the money that gets donated goes. And Lara has vowed to spend every single penny on electing Donald Trump. And guess what? He likes that idea a lot. <laughs> Making your daughter-in-law chairperson of the RNC, it's shameless. Even for him, it's shameless. He's trying to turn the Republican Party into a family business because his other family business is about to shut down by the state of New York. <laughs> but in case you're wondering what Laura Trump's credentials are, uh, the, she has a degree from a culinary school. She once worked as a personal trainer. She was a producer on Inside Edition. She hosted something called Real News Update from 2017 to 2020. And she married Eric Trump. <laughs> the last time Trump endorsed a blonde this unqualified for office was when he endorsed himself, actually. <laughs> You know, they held a, um, they had a, what they call a special election in New York uh, yesterday to fill the vacancy left by George Santos, and it did not go the Republicans' way. Democrats flipped the seat, thereby shrinking the Republican majority down to six in the House. And congratulations to new Congressman Tom Suozzi. You have some very big clown shoes to fill, but I am... <laughs> They actually had to wait to verify the election to make sure the winner wasn't George Santos in disguise. <laughs> George Santos, by the way, still out there yammering away. He was a, yesterday he was a guest on something called the Michael Doherty Show. Who would you say is the most corrupt Republican and corrupt Democrat in Congress? Nicole Maliotakis Why? and Nancy Pelosi. Why, Nicole? They insider trade. So who are the people in, in Congress that are the least? Uh, the least? least? The ones who carry the worst rep. The ones who the media attack the most are the ones who have least any any sign of or or or, or hint of corruption. It's your Matt Gates's, it's your Lauren Boberts, it's even AOC. I think she has corrupt people around her, but I don't think she's a bad person. I just think she's wildly stupid, but pretty and slays on outfits. <laughs> she's everything he wants to be. And then after calling AOC wildly stupid, gorgeous George shared this. What's next in your career? Everything. Book. So I have a book that I'm working Talk on. Talk about it. Um, my boy Tom and I are working on this book, and it's going to be fabulous. It's a tell-it-all. It's a tell-it-all. It's a tell-it-all. <laughs> I love a good tell-it-all, you know? Oh, I can't wait to see what you and your boy Tom cook up for this tell-it-all. You think there even is a Tom? No. All right, let's get back to Valentine's Day. This is a, this is a night of great romance, and there's nothing more romantic than holding hands, that little gesture that couples make. And tonight we're gonna find out if uh, people who are together can identify their partner just by touching hands and, with our new game, which we call the handhold, okay? Now, our announcer Lou is on Hollywood Boulevard with our first couple. Uh, hello, Lou, how are you? Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. I like the, the pink shirt. Do you have a plan for Valentine's Day later tonight, Lou? I do. I'm going to make spaghetti with my girlfriend and then hopefully make love. Oh, very good. <laughs> All right, great. Spaghetti and love making. And who do we have here, Lou? Uh, we've got Dick and Debbie. Dick and Debbie, hello. How are you, Dick and Debbie? We're, Hi. We're great. Okay. Oh, oh, this. Oh, I'm, I've been told to ask what your last name is. What is your last name? My last name is Held. Okay, now I understand why I'm being told to ask what your last name is. <laughs> your name is Dick Held? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> wow. Richard was not an option? I like being a dick. Be okay. <laughs> Is that true, Debbie? Does he like being a dick? <laughs> Debbie, um, would you say that you are very familiar with your husband's hand? Yes. 
Yes, uh, and so much so that you could identify it just by touch? Uh, well, just touching like that, maybe not, but maybe feeling around. Okay. <laughs> well, this is what the Held family does there. <laughs> All right, uh, well, um, Lou, why don't you explain exactly how this will work so I don't confuse anybody? Of course. So, Debbie, you're going to go through this door right here. Uh huh. There you Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Here we go. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, so Dick is going to have to figure this out. Dick is the one guessing. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So, now, Dick, Dick, don't do anything weird with that hole, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, Dick, you're going to put your hand in the hole up to the forearm, and we're going to ask you to hold a couple of hands, and your goal is to identify which one is Debbie's. Okay, all right, so we go can ahead almost and put it hear in Lou. There. Now, um, yeah. all right, here we go. And uh, now we're going to bring in a series of um, humans uh, with hands, and then Dick is going to no. feel. All right, Dick, all right, That's calm down, Dick. calm down. You don't, have to, <laughs> you don't have to get mad. All right, Dick says uh, that is not his wife. Uh, uh, no. That is, uh, Dick says that is also not his wife. How long yeah. have you and Debbie been together, Dick? Can I cheat? What? 50, 53 and a half years. Yeah. You're really getting a lot of mileage out of this, aren't you, Dick? <laughs> All right. And uh, we have another person here. Oh, OK. There you go. What do I yeah. do? Well, you... That's her. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. What did you put on your hand? <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> well, Debbie, he heard you say, what do I do? So, <laughs> all right, well, let's try one more. And uh, here we go. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, Dick, put that. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, we got this idea from a truck stop in a men's room. <laughs> no, that's men's not Men's room in a truck stop, I don't know. But OK, there we go. All right. And Dick, what do you say? Was it number one, two, three, or four? Three. Number three. Uh, let's see if it was number three. Debbie is, yeah, well, yeah. OK, just open the, why are we the delaying yeah. this? All right. Give me a hug. Oh, wow, look at that, all right. <laughs> all right, Lou, do you have a little something for Dick and Debbie? I do. I've got a romantic dinner for two at Dave & Buster's. Oh, have wow. fun at Dave & Buster's, Dick and Debbie. All right, let's see if we can do this properly. All right, I've got here Dason and Maria. Dason and Maria. How long have you been together, Dason and Maria? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Do you hold hands often? We do. <laughs> do you have a style? Let me see. Like, whose hand goes, uh, who's got the top hand? OK, well, he's definitely Dason. the top hand. Is oh, that, a, yeah, is that kind yeah. of a thing that, uh, it's interesting. It's always the same, isn't no, it? No, no. That feel, it's a, it's feels a weird. If you're taller, you have to be the top hand, if you're the taller one. Yeah. Maria, yeah. do you have a tattoo on the palm of your hand? On both. Oh, and well, what do those say? <laughs> they say, I'm a Reiki healer. I give you magic hands. Yeah, what is a Reiki healer? You wave your hands over people, and then you say, that'll be 80 bucks? That's it. That's exactly yeah. it. Only it's 150. <laughs> yeah. Now, those tattoos, they don't have any bumps on them or anything that would be identifiable no. to Dason, no. do they? All right. No. OK, very good. All right, so let's do this. Um, Dason, OK, how are we going to do this? Here we go. Here? All right, so Dason. You step through. Yeah, there you go. OK. And then Maria, and you'll now... put hand into the hole up to the forearm. Now, let's okay. remind our contestants, um, we're going to ask you, yeah, please do not speak, um, <laughs> because that ruins the whole thing. <laughs> Don't be a Debbie, OK? All right. All right, that's, been, that's hand number one. You've, have you felt it enough there, Maria? OK. Yeah, it I think comes so. Hand number two. OK, OK. <laughs> Here comes hand number three. I'm really uh -huh. sorry to whoever that is. Oh. OK. And here comes hand number four. All right. All right. Hey. OK. OK. Now, I'm going to ask you, Maria, which number hand is yours? One. You say number one? All right, number one, let's see. Let's say hello. Hey. <laughs> New guy. Well, I guess we're getting married. Congratulations. 
Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. You too. Uh, and Dason, you're not going home empty-handed. We're going to set you up on a special night with um, with number four. <laughs> there you go. Yes, guys, just join hands right there. <laughs> <laughs> right. What do we have with this new happy couple, Lou? Uh, we've got a big old bottle of Purell. All right, there you go. Thank you very much for playing along. That's um, handhold. Yeah.